Okay, so Treasure Pander Exodia. Uh, I have this Exodia deck I like to play that's basically an Exodia deck that doesn't actually try to go for the Exodia win condition and instead just goes for Synchro Summons because I think it's funny to mess with my opponent's expectations like that. Uh, and this deck goes into a lot of Synchro Summons and also just regular Fusion Summons and uh, it's surprisingly consistent. I also have a Synchro Quasar Dragon version of it that works well as well. Anyways, uh, Treasure Pander is a new card that came out uh, that makes this deck a lot better because what you can do is banish up to three Spell and Trap cards from your graveyard to Special Summon a normal monster from your deck equal to the amount of cards you banished. And this deck revolves heavily on level one normal monsters, uh, also some level two normal monsters. And there's no limit on how many times you can use this effect per turn. And a big thing about this deck uh, is using a crap ton of spells to special summon the cards from the graveyard and then send them back to draw cards with Wonder Wand and White Elephant's Gift uh, and the new spellbook of Rudra. So I have a lot of spell and trap cards in the graveyard. So when I have Treasure Pander out, I can basically summon like at least five times that turn and just go for a crap ton of synchro summons uh, if I actually draw into him. Uh, and plus the Predator plants in here because it's uh, it allows you to go into a really good fusion monster very easily.